So we're here in Beer, uh, and the idea is we're going to be taking out some of this fairly sad hedge all the way around and just fencing off the whole garden. So we're doing a hit and miss fence on the front here that's double sided. Taking out this hedge, taking out that hedge. We're also going to be joining up the feather edge fences that are there going down to there. We're going to be taking out 39 meters of hedge just the side of the hedge all the way down. Um, so 18 inches, two feet, and putting a six foot high feather edge fence all the way down that side. And a small return to the gate post at the bottom there. Um, we'll go down this way. So there's 29 meters on that side, 39 on this side, all the way down through. Um, so yeah, all of this is gonna have to come out. It's all about keeping the dog in. So we'll be cutting all this back a bit getting the fence in here. There are a few plants that we may have to move. Getting the fence in all the way down. We're doing our same hit and miss horizontal fence across here. With the gate here, that's gonna blend in with the fence. So a lot of this hedge is gonna to have to go. Here, we are gonna be taking as many of the stones out as we can, getting those away and installing between 15 and 20 tons, I estimate, of topsoil. So three or four inches so that they could get grass on here. At the moment, it's full of rocks, rubble, concrete, you name it, it's here. We're going to be taking this out and then running it from the garage there all the way around up here, about a metre off the back of the wall. Um, so that we can, we're going to try and adjoy, avoid the, the drain cover here. We will be avoiding the drain cover here. And just giving a metre in between all the way up. You can see how much rubbish there is. We may be able to get a grab to come in and grab it and then drop some of the topsoil off. I'm not 100% sure yet. So that's the whole job. Um, the fence on this side is coming down to opposite this wall here. So they're having a couple of gate posts installed either side. We're going to be bringing that down and then coming across and with a little return to that gate post to keep it nice and secure. Up on here, we're doing another one of those pieces of horizontal fencing. Uh, hit and miss all the way around, keep it with the same theme. So everything on the sides of the property is feather edge, everything on the front, back, and then just here so that the dog doesn't leap off 12 feet. Uh, just on this side is going to be horizontal fencing again. We're into day two now. Yesterday we got most of this out. I'm gonna be pulling these stumps out in a moment. Tidied up the bank, got that prepared for the fence. A couple of stumps to pull out up there as well. Although some of those did come out by hand. On this side, we've got the beach down and all these stumps ready to pull out as well. It's gone well. This front bank is all organized and 
ready to go. Once these are out, we can start getting some posts in. Uh, we're yet to decide the final line of the fence along here, and we'll run straight across with, with the posts here, probably about 150 mil back. Down this side here, we have cut away the inside of the hedge to make room for the fence. And uh, fortunately, most of the stumps, most of the trunks on the conifers are far enough back that we shouldn't run into them too much. Uh, and we should have enough room to be able to get all the way down there without too much of an issue. So uh, yeah, all the waste was taken away yesterday. Most of it was chipped. Some of it's gone in the skip. And all the wire and old posts and things like that gone in the skip at the yard. And uh, we had a bit of a tidy up yesterday to make sure there wasn't stuff left everywhere. So made some really good progress yesterday and we'll, uh, we'll carry on through now. position put a marker down there where the corner post is going to go now using my level to line this up so that it's heading exactly towards that corner post and once this one's in and set we're going to get the other one on the other side at the same distance off the post and the same distance back off the front post and I'll have to get a nice straight line all the way through right so we've got the first two posts in uh, a very similar distance off these pillars here and the same distance back. So you'll see the line I've made on both sides there. So the idea is now that once these two are set, we can have a string line come off here, take it all the way up to the other end here, and looking back that way, as soon as that string line is pulled and touches the other post, that's when we know it's dead in line. So that's where we're gonna set our post here in the bank. Just off of it, just just touching now, yeah. Off now, touching. So we're removing this bottom hedge here so we can get the fence in and join the two fences up. I've got most of the way through that. We have a stump there that we can just cut to ground level with a chainsaw, that's not going to be an issue. Um, however, let me just jump down. We do have the stump of this holly, which is actually a really significant portion of the hedge here that is right in the way of the fence. So this uh, small section in front, we should be able to take off without too much of an issue, tidy up the front, and I'm going to propose to the customer that we build the fence around it because if we take it out, it's going to leave a fairly large, ugly gap. And because there's conifers either side, they won't tend to regrow uh, and fill in that gap very well 
very quickly. Okay, so end of day yesterday, um, we got two posts in here. Uh, we've just finished off the hole for the end post on this one. Um, we've brought the laser level today, so we've got marks, level marks on all the posts all the way up, uh, which allows us to get the horizontal fencing on the front here dead straight and level all the way across. I'm just going to look the best. Uh, this right hand side is actually surprisingly level. Uh, a little bit deceptive, but it's more the road dropping away than the, the level of the ground coming up. A and J building contractors uh, who we are working with on this one. They've been on site every single morning just to check everything, it's all going well, it's all been going well. So yeah, posting today, get all of this tidied up, try and get the bottom half of this fence in by the end of tomorrow. Hopefully we can get it in by the end of today. Okay, so I'm just going to mark the level on this end post here. We've got the string line going up all the way across, which we haven't had so far. and. It does touch all the posts beautifully, so we do have a nice straight line across here, all the way through. So I'll get this level on, and that will give us our start point for our boards when we start putting them on horizontally. What are you doing? Uh, we're looking for a nut. Who's nut is it? Uh, it's off the post, I guess. We're going to blame Gareth for this one. Right, we've decided that we'd go and get the lads a, a bacon roll and a drink each. Uh, so we're going to head to Hollis and go to Greg's. While we're there, next door happens to be a screw fix in a tool station, so we'll pick up some more post hole diggers and a landscaping rake or two for the soil clearance down the bottom where we're taking all the stones out of the soil. So that'll help with grading and removing the stones. We'll get a rotavator in there as well to try and pull some of those stones out. So we thought we'd just two birds, one stone, and go to Honiton and get it all done at the same place. So I'm not going to be here tomorrow, uh, I'm off doing quotes, so we're going to leave the boys to it. Uh, this is the first example of the fence, what it's going to look like when it's finished. So we've got too small, too big, too small, too big all the way down. It's all looking pretty good and we've offset them on the other side by half of that small board so as a result there's no privacy issues or anything like that the finished height will be 1.8 meters uh, six foot give or take uh, and then we'll put a capping along the top of it just to finish it off which will likely be one of those 145 boards or something similar if we need to uh, when you can get something maybe slightly bigger 
Uh, if we do, it needs some capping because at least it will be 1.8 meters high. So we've got all these posts in. I'm just going to mark that same height that they started on that side, on this side now, and then hopefully by the end of tomorrow, this uh, this fence is at least four foot high. If not, maybe a little bit higher. These guys are clearing down through here, setting posts down through here. The fence is going to have to change directions a few times as we go down through here. That one's going back as far as possible so that we can miss this wall. We're going behind the power pole and straight down through. Really good progress overall today. Tomorrow we should have the holly coming out. Uh, Gareth's going to be climbing that, taking that out as carefully as possible so that we can keep the tree behind it intact. Uh, it has somewhat fused to the holly, so separating those is going to be interesting to say the least. Yeah. <laughs>